Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lollid. I'm so excited to welcome to the show the very talented actress, Catherine Castro. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you guys for having me. We're so, having right off the bat, we have to congratulate you for your new film someday. We're really excited about it. Romantic yes. drama, of which I always <laughs> love. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, tell us a little bit about the film. Well, Someday is inspired by a true story. It's about um, Adam Melody. Adam is a world famous uh, composer and uh, Melody and are, are on a flight, on a 14 hour flight from Sydney to Los Angeles. Melody has no idea who this guy is. And because of that, they're able to talk and, and flirt and connect. And um, along the way, they pour their hearts out and they fall in love. Oh. And um, it lasts the length of the fight. Mm. So what wow. happens after that, we don't know. Wow, I love <laughs> that. We have a look at the film. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Terra Australis, flying nonstop from Sydney to Los Angeles. The flight time will be 14 hours. So please keep your seatbelts fastened while seated. We will be airborne momentarily. I'm out. Melody. Big fan. Thank you. Oh my God, it's really him. Okay, so what is that you do? It's killing me. What do you want to know? I want to get to know you. I'm, I'm a musician, a, a composer, a conductor. We left Sydney on a Friday evening. We're gonna be in LA on a Friday morning. You know what that means, right? This moment, what we're saying and doing, it never happened. Don't you feel like we've done this before? I see right through you. This is like a symphony I've been listening to my whole life. See the true beauty of things only when we acknowledge that they're fleeting. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 Now seeing it from the outside, I got little goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because in my book, I have a, a chapter called Someday, and it's really letting go of someday, that concept of living for this kind of fantasy that will mm -hmm. get there somewhere and something's going to like fulfill us and stuff Absolutely. like that. What do you feel like the, the name of it represents for you? Um, well, we have a, a, a play in the movie with someday and one day, the difference of someday is wishing, mm -hmm. but it's not something, you know, concrete or, you know, specific where one day, you know for sure that this is going to happen. And so it's about the duality of life, um, our relationships. Do Are we really enjoying the present moment, which is the case in, of Adam and Melody? They really took in that moment and by the time the flight was over i mean they knew they probably are not going to see each other ever again well he's a musician so, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we know what dating in LA is like. but i love that one day i mean if we all live just for today exactly. how much better would our lives be oh absolutely and i think that's something that we all kind of struggle with and 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 work on and learn on on the daily mm -hmm. it really takes a lot of practice and just Letting go. <laughs> yeah. so Have you found that challenging in your own personal journey as you've continued to build towards dreams like this in your life, just sort of remaining present as you go about chasing mm -hmm. and achieving? Yes, I mean, it's, I can definitely say I've had my struggles with, you know, being in the present mm -hmm. um, and just taking in what's happening right now. But I do catch myself when I'm not living in the present and um, I kind of like take a step back and breathe, that's the first thing, just breathe, everything is okay. Um, and remember that nothing else before that or after it doesn't exist. Yeah. We only have right now, literally. And I have to remind myself constantly because also as an actress, it's the only way that we can be 
real and authentic and connect with the other actor mm -hmm. and connect with the audience as well. Because the audience is very intelligent. They, yeah. they're, very, it's, they're very smart. They'll know when someone right. is acting. Totally. So let's talk about this love addiction, because mm -hmm. this is really what the, the, <laughs> the, the movie really represents, really that, that codependent, codependent factor that we all have. It's mm -hmm. like you lose track of time, the mm -hmm. heroin goes in the arm, the love's there, and yet it, it can be transient. Like, is, does, this, does it matter? It, could this just happen with the next person in this person's life? Mm -hmm. Do you really feel like they're really connected, or do you feel like it's just a fantasy that's played out? Um, I feel like they really connected in that moment, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it was a, a true, um, I like to call it a, a fair, an affair of the minds, a, a soul to soul connection. Mm -hmm. I think it was a real romance, but that they'd enjoyed it and took it for what it was, and that's it. Um, and that's what's so special about it, because it makes you realize that life really is a moment. Mm -hmm. And it was just that moment. So why not take advantage of this moment and pour your heart out? And so be it, right? Mm -hmm. Catherine, yes. you've had a very empowering personal journey. Take us back to your childhood. What was that like for you? Oof, wow. Um, well, you know, born and raised in the Dominican Republic, I come from uh, a family of military. Um, my dad was the chief of the Secret Service of my country. They're all pilots, the Air Force pilots. I'm the only girl amongst three boys, all in the military, by the way. And the Secret Service. And <laughs> wow. Yeah. Definitely don't want to get caught by your dad well, doing something you don't want to I, mean, I grew up, you know, in this world of, you know, military or, you know, riding in helicopters all the time that I, it, it really wasn't like a big deal for me. Like now being an adult and looking back, it's like, oh, wow, that's actually pretty big. But I just mm -hmm. grew up like that in, in that community. And, um, we moved to the United States, uh, Alexandria, Virginia, because my dad was um, posted at the Dominican Embassy in Washington, D.C. And I was five years old. <clears throat> and that's where my first struggle started, because at five, I knew very little Spanish and zero English. And I think it started manifesting physically because I would my own insecurity of not being able to communicate with mm. my making new friends in a language that I don't speak, I started um, tumbling. So I would walk, I would two steps and fall. Oh, I had my goodness. legs full of bruises. Mm -hmm. So my parents took me to the doctor and the doctor said that I was, there was nothing wrong with me that the way that this was going to you know, fix itself is by enrolling me in dance lessons. It was mm -hmm. just a problem mm -hmm. of balance and coordination. And that for me was how I discovered this whole world of wow. creativity and becoming someone else and using all your senses. I did ballet, jazz, tap dancing, gymnastics. Wow. Never again did I fall, well, except wow. with the gymnastics, right. you know. Yeah, doing, yeah. tumbling on purpose. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, tumbling on purpose, yeah. But how beautiful is that? That the, the, whatever the breakdown was made you know, yes. brought a whole new. Well, it, it really empowered me mm -hmm. because it gave me a purpose and focus. Mm -hmm. And so any challenge that they gave us, um, if I needed to learn a new routine or if I needed to learn how to do, let's say, a flip on the beam. I mean, I remember my first trophy was I was six years old and we were supposed to do a back walk over on the high beam. And the teacher was like, whoever doesn't fall will get this trophy over here. And I told myself when I heard it, like, that trophy is mine and I'm going to get it. And sure enough, I did. I went the first time and I fell. And then everyone else fell as well. I was like, OK. And then I went the second time and I fell again. And then by the third time, I was like, I'm not falling. And I didn't fall. Mm. So it taught me at that age what discipline does, what practicing what you love mm -hmm. and believing in yourself and not really looking for an outside source to believe in yourself, but really yourself, convincing yourself that's yours. You're going to do it. You're going to fall down like I did. and You're going to stand back up and you're going to do it. So how did that translate into your career here in La La Land? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> La La Land, as we know, the one thing that you have guaranteed is the no. Hmm. So once you get over the fear of no, of rejection, which is the same thing as falling down, mm -hmm. you don't take it personal because it's not personal. 
it's not anything against you personally. Maybe I'm not right for the project or who knows whatever goes, whatever goes behind making a decision, but it's not personal. So what that has done is it has empowered me to come here when I didn't know absolutely anybody at all. I had no family, no friends. I started from scratch. I had an amazing career in the Dominican Republic and I didn't back down. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move to LA. Do I know anyone in LA? No. Had I ever been in LA? No. But I know this is where I'm supposed to be and right. the rest is wow. risk so, <laughs> so when you go to uh, an audition like mm -hmm. this for the movie, do you, is it, do you feel that it's because you nailed the audition or do you feel like it's just in alignment with your authentic self of that role? I, I think one thing goes with the other. I think you are in alignment and you nail it because you are in alignment. Mm -hmm. um, but that again comes with years of practicing, of getting all the no's of, you know, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Embassy Latino named you one of the top 10 standout stars no. from Sunday's yes. festival season. What do you think it is about you that allows this star to shine so bright? Um, I think more than anything is that I I just love what I do. I really love it. I, I have a passion for it. I, I just don't see myself doing anything else. Um, it's just when I'm doing what I love, you can see that shine through me. Mm -hmm. There's no other way to to ex to explain it. Um, and what, would you, advise, what advice would you give for people out there that are coming to Hollywood? What would you say? What would I say? Um, well, get ready for, you know, the no. <laughs> <laughs> and don't take it personal. And don't give up because don't don't give yourself a time limit. That's mm. I think that's a mistake. Where people are like, if in five years I'm gonna give myself five years, and if in five years I don't make it, then you know I'm done. Well, maybe and you don't make it in five years, but maybe it's five years and one day, and it turns out right. that you gave up on that one day. Yeah. So if this is what you really want, you can't have you can't mm -hmm. put yourself a limit to it. It's your life, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like the universe test us for a commitment. It's like when you were doing the beam and you said, I decided it's like, and there was a determinism that there was going to succeed regardless Absolutely. of the time. To, Absolutely. Yeah, not How long contingency. did it take you from when you started acting until you got to a point where you're like, something clicked and you felt like, ah, this acting thing is probably is, is going to work out. Is mm -hmm. there a period of time there? Oh, yes. How long um, was that time? It to me, for me, it took me a long time because I had I had everything against me. Um, first, not being a U.S. citizen, not being able to live here, um, you know, starting literally from scratch, even though I, I speak English. English isn't my first language. Um, so I had so many things to figure out and I didn't have anyone to kind of like guide me. Um, it, it was a little bit rocky initially. Um, I would say for me, where, when it clicked, and I was like, okay, I feel more confident with this. It was probably after six years. Yeah. Wow. wow. After six uh -huh. years, six, mm -hmm. six, almost seven years. Yeah. Interesting. Fascinating. Where, where it finally feels like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am actually, I can call myself an actress. Because you know how people are like, I'm an actor. No, no, I'm an I am an actress. Yes. Wow, interesting. And you are an incredible actress. Tell everyone where they can find and follow your personal journey and see Someday. Uh, Someday is still going to the festivals, but very soon we will have a release. Um, people can follow me on Instagram at official Catherine Castro and Facebook as well. And on Twitter at Cat Castro with two O's and Cat with a K. Love it. Thank you so Thank much. You so Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. We'll be back with Martin. Good morning, La La Land.